Mga memorial park na naman tayo. O di ba, ang daming topics sa rules 7 and 8 daw na pwede yung pagkuhan na ng questions. We'll have a 15-minute break at 3 o'clock. Okay, buildings and other accessory structures within cemeteries and memorial parks. Oh, cemetery mo na pag usapan natin. Location of cemeteries and memorial parks. Cemeteries and memorial parks will be located in accordance with the approved land use plan of the city or municipality concerned. Prior clearance shall be obtained from Saan ka kukuha ng clearance? Paligpa tayo ng memorial park. Number one, Department of Health. Number two, the National Water Reservoir or Resources Council. And then the DNR and HLURB. Now, the SUD. No? Department of Social uh, Urban Development. No? Baka magtanong kayo, Sir, Ipatay na rin yan. Bakit kailangan pa ng clearance sa Department of Health? Okay? Kailangan ng clearance dyan kasi, di ba, minsan nangangamoy, no? yung mga uh, patay. So, kailangan mabigyan ng clearance na talagang yung design natin ay talagang secured, no? Na hindi magkakaroon ng problema sa community, lalo na malapit sa community. As to protective enclosure, the cemetery shall be totally enclosed by a perimeter fence. Take note, talagang in-specify dyan of a strong material. Ha? Strong material. And all gates shall be provided with a strong door and lock. Baka nakawin yung patay. Ha? Perimeter wall shall not exceed 3 meters in height. Okay? Hanggang 3 meters lang, ha? Ang uh, perimeter uh, wall. Where a cemetery is enclosed by a solid reinforced concrete, at least 2 meters in height. Pagkabuhos ang uh, Kanya ano, wall. It is allowed to construct tombs. Pagkalibawa yung perimeter fence mo, hindi siya CHB, reinforced concrete wall. Pwede kang magdikit ng ditsyo. Pero pagka CHB, hindi allowed magdikit ng ditsyo. Bakit? Madaling sirain ang CHB. Huh? At pwede unin yung patay. Kasi may mga Sa memorial parks and cemeteries, may mga nililibing dyan na mga mayayaman na may mga pabaon. E pag nalalaman, di ba? No? Baka mamaya, yung postiso pala nun, ginto. No? Nakawin nila. Di ba? Meron ganyan. Kaya hindi allowed na ang perimeter fence ng cemetery or memorial parks ay CHB. Kung CHB man yan, hindi, hindi allowed ang magdikit ng nicho. Pero kung yan ay reinforced concrete wall, pwede magdikit ng nicho. Kasi buhos. No? And of course, dikit-dikit ang uh, reinforcing bars. Pwede maglagay ng bolts, pwede maglagay ng musilyong na dikit sa wall or other types of simple cares for the dead up to the walls. Otherwise, pagka yan ay CHB, magkakaroon ka dapat ng clearance na 5 meters. Ganon kalayo dapat ang distance ng nicho. Pagka yan ay hindi siya reinforced concrete wall. Interments, burials, and entombments. For ground interment, there shall be a minimum depth excavation of 1.50 meters from the ground level to the base of excavation. Pag sinabi natin, ground interments, walang nicho, walang bolt. Talagang hukay lang, tapos ilalagay lang yung kabaong. Okay? 1.50 meters ang lalim. Ngayon, pagka yan ay may bolt, 
Tama may need na ilalatan, pwede ng isang metro lang ang lalim. Ba? But of course, you have to check also the water table ng site. Baka mamaya, 0.30 pala na ako kayo mo, tubig na. No? Diba? Tulungan tayo pa tayo mo ron. Ground interments. Pag sinabi natin ground interments, above, above natural grade. Yung mga naka... Yung mga nicho sa ibabaw lang ng lupa. Hindi siya nakalubog. It shall be allowed only in a designated graveyard areas of the cemetery and may be provided with suitable markers, headstones, or memorials. Ano yon? Yung lapida. Ah, di ba? Marble. Headstones. Yung headstones. Diba? Sa libingan ng mga bayani, cross lang, no? Nakata yung white cross. Yun yung markers natin. Bolts for tombs and mausoleums for above ground interment shall be of solid reinforced concrete. Hindi allowed ang hollow blocks dapat. Diba? Pero ang dami ko nakikita ng gumagawang hollow blocks. Oh, bawal dapat. Concrete hollow blocks or any unit solid uh, unit masonic construction of ceramics, adobe, or the like shall not be allowed for the construction of above, above grounds, vaults, tombs, or mausoleums. Mausoleums may be provided with ossuaries and or cineraria along the interior walls. Multi-level interment niches shall only be of solid reinforced concrete construction of not less than 150 millimeters thickness. 0.15 na ang thickness ng multi-level entertainment yung sinasabi nilang apartment type. No, apartment types. Which they may be allowed to abut walls of the cemetery provided the walls are solid reinforced concrete construction. Concrete hollow blocks or any unit masonry construction of ceramics, adobe or the like shall not be allowed. Of course, before construction is started on any mausoleum, canopy over tomb or multi-level niches, a building permit shall be required by the office of the building official. By building permit, na? <laughs> Pero wala na yung mabanggit yung kailangan pa na occupancy permit. Oh, kasi baka mamaya bumangon yung patay kung ako ako ng occupancy permit i-occupy ko na po yung aking libingan so hindi na babanggit ha? <laughs> horizontal divisions of columbaria kasi di ba yung columbaria apartment type din yun no? diba? so yung horizontal division niya at least 50 millimeters in thickness. 50 millimeters. Vertical divisions may be of uh, concrete blocks of at least 100 millimeters. In which case, cement mortar shall be applied evenly to present a non-porous surface. Minimum dimensions of indiv individual uh, scenarium shall be 300 mm by 300 mm by 460 mm minimum yon pwede kang lumaki pero syempre kung commercial yan wag ko ka na sa minimum para marami okay okay cinerary remains shall be placed inside tightly sealed urns kapag nilagay mo diyan yung urns ay naka -sealed. So yan ang consideration ha, kung nagpatayo ng Memorial Park. As, as to accessory structures, ang chapel na required ay at least 50 square meters. At least, minimum yun, no? at least 50 square meters.
weak chaplets with a minimum of 50 square meters for 30 persons and at least 1.60 square meters for each additional persons may be provided. Pero kakaunti lang ang memorial park na naglalagay ng mga chaplets. Kadalasan sa mga uh, memorial chapels ng Punilaria, di ba? St. Peter. No? Pero dito sa Heritage Park, cemetery, no? sa loob ng cemetery, sa, sa loob ng memorial park na yun, marami silang mga chaplets na pwedeng um, doon mag, ano, magburol. Ang pinagtataka ko dito palagi is bakit kaya yung mga memorial memorial parks, memorial mga mga puneraria, pinapangalan nila sa mga santo, no? Saint Peter, Saint Rosina pang santo, no? Panghatak, panghatak, no? O, oh, dito na kayo kung bumili ng kabaong kasi magiging santo yung patay ninyo. <laughs> Ganun ba yan? Ah. Okay. Administrative office, a 64 square meter lot shall be allocated for an administration building. Electrical power, of course, placed at a maximum of 100 meters as prescribed by the power uh, servicing areas. Utility poles shall be installed alongside of streets and pathways. And then, of course, uh, parking area, which is minimum of 5% of the gross area of Memorial Park or Cemetery. Tricky dito, no? ang, ang parking. Baka kasi mabaya, matanong sa board exam. Yung required parking. No? Baka mabaya, sasabihin nyo, in every, in every five uh, votes, one parking. Ang sinasabi dyan, 5% lang. No? 5% of the uh, gross area of Memorial Park or Cemetery. And of course, uh, comfort rooms, toilets. Uh, and then the rest, referred to uh, HLURB uh, guidelines.